Hello and welcome to News and Design, Transportation TV spotlight on developments in the world of transportation engineering and design. Crossing the street safely is something parents insist their children do. But what about the adults? During 2001 through 2010, 47,392 pedestrians died from traffic crashes in the U.S. That's nearly 5,000 pedestrian deaths every year. And the CDC says the victims are mostly adults. A traffic signal system called HAWK, or High Intensity Activated Crosswalk, is working to prevent cars and pedestrians from colliding. Since early 2010, um, many have been installed around the country. They're in Boise, Idaho. They're in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, they are in uh, lots of cities. The major test bed when they were first experimented with is in Tucson, Arizona, where they have more than 200. The District of Columbia Department of Transportation, DDOT, will deploy at least four Hawk signals at intersections this year. Unlike conventional signals, the Hawk remains dark until a pedestrian pushes a button. Approaching drivers see a flashing yellow signal, which after a few seconds turns solid yellow indicating that motorists should slow down. When the double solid red signals appear, drivers must come to a complete stop. Pedestrians see an illuminated icon of a walking person indicating it's time to cross. After several seconds, the solid red lights begin flashing, letting motorists know they can now proceed through the crosswalk once pedestrians have passed their vehicle. Even if pedestrians are still in the crosswalk, vehicles can proceed once it's safe. A 2010 FHWA study compared accident rates at locations before and after Hawk signals were employed. According to the FHWA, total crashes dropped 29 percent, pedestrian crashes fell by 69 percent, and severe crashes fell by 15 percent. It is obviously not possible for any jurisdiction to install a Hawk signal at every crosswalk in the city. So we have to work with communities and understand and analyze the situation, understand where the demand for the crossing is coming from. Like DDOT, transportation agencies using Hawk are constantly collecting and analyzing data to determine how well the systems are working. I'd like to thank George Brandon, DDOT pedestrian program coordinator for being our guest this month. And as we close today, we'd also like to pay special recognition to a former guest of Transportation TV. Maine DOT Chief Engineer Ken Sweeney, who retired in late June after 35 years with the agency. Sweeney talked to Transportation TV recently about his decision. I'm looking forward, as I've told people, for the decompression phase. And, uh, and one of the stories I've been tell, uh, talking to people about was the fact that uh, when I announced my retirement, my blood pressure went down 10 points. <laughs> And I think that's a testament to, to some of the weight that folks in, in this industry carry on their shoulders, you know. And always our primary goal is, is public safety, and, and that's a heavy weight, you know. And to make sure that the, that the systems that we have are, are safe for people and uh, that they come home at night. From all of us at Ashto and News and Design, we wish Mr. Sweeney the best of luck. That's our show for this month. Email your questions or comments to tdorsey at ashto.org. Thanks for watching and never stop designing for the future.